Want to say a few words well, to this yeah, group you, assembled? You got a good man here who did a great job. Once Is that an endorsement? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good man, yes. <laughs> and uh, now let's see. You would be the only practicing accounting if you're elected in the set, accountant who would well, be the Senate. Is that right? I, I, right now, when I was there, you know, I was the only practicing CPA. Now we've got about four others, including Mr. Enzi. But none of them ever, Enzi, right. ever left the accounting profession to yeah. go to Congress. They kind of, you know, wended their right, way right, there. Right. You went but I went direct. Directly, yeah. Right. And they need yeah. me back. Yeah. Someone's yeah. got to help balance the books. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We need that. But they have four, so you'd be the fifth. Well, but I'd be a special one because I had experience with this, <laughs> government accounting. Yeah, they need someone well, who understands. Thing, sir, I'm a lawyer, and I'll say this. They don't need another lawyer in the Senate. Yeah. Right about half of them there. That. But they could use another accountant. There it goes. There it goes. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for all you've done. Thank uh, you. Joe's been out there making the good arguments and screening after screening session, out yes. there fighting the good fight for the Republican Party, saying the right things. I mean, about the horrendous, you, you predicted this, didn't you? This is yes, 17 years ago. Book. Yes, I did. 17 years ago. The apocalypse hey. of debt has finally arrived, and, and debt is making us poor. Indeed. And that's the problem. And it's not a laughing matter. You're talking about a trillion and a half, trillion and a half deficit, deficit. every year. Right. Wow. Every year. Which will add 10 trillion over the next 10 years, they say, which will be a yeah. humongous Look. interest. Here's the highest tax of all is interest. Right. You get nothing for it. And it, a lot of it goes to China. Now, how do, how, do, how do we get out of this? How do you get out? Can this government, can, can Obama, President Obama and his government and the Pelosi and Reid, do they have the policies that can grow this country out of that debt? No. 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 Uh, no. So how, how are they, uh, now, what are, what are the other ways you can get out of it? Well, we first have to limit. Right, Even an ethnic Albanian knows that. <laughs> but the, the other ways are you inflate your way out of it. That's what New York City did when they had their bankruptcy. Right. They inflated the word, right? Right, right. There's a lot of bonds. You and I think the, the Federal Reserve is in effect doing that well, with the way they're, they're spending, to do that. printing money. Printing money. That's that's another New York thing. State can't print money, boy. That's a big but, difference between the Federal the Government and New York State. Yeah, right. <laughs> the problem with printing money is they have these things called bond vigilantes. Remember, uh, uh, who was it? It was, uh, you know, um, uh, Clinton's sidekick, uh, Carvel. Carvel. James Carvel. Oh boy. He said if he was reincarnated, he'd be reincarnated as the bond market. <laughs> because Robert Rubin kept saying Robert Rubin kept saying to Clinton uh, that you gotta watch out for the bond market. You know, you get if you run these big deficits, uh, the bond market is going to go nuts. Well we're running big deficits. And we now. saw that with Greece. Look at all the what happened oh with my Greece God. that can happen that can Could happen, happen to us. us. But right. that's why we can't inflate our way up, because the bond vigilantes are now in China. And they're not gonna let us do that. I mean they they're going to start pushing up our interest rates very quickly, start selling dollars if right. we get inflation. So we can't inflate our way out. No. So Sounds like an how economist, how not an attorney. So, so, <laughs> so, how, I'm getting so how, how is Obama figure he's going to get us out of this? Guess what? There's one alternative left. That's it. Who said that? Taxes. That's it. Ta tax. And, th and what they're headed for is a value added tax. Yes, we heard that. Volker, Volker told me this six months ago. He wanted to do that. A value add tax, which uh, is very efficient way to collect taxes at every step of production, the and that's right. the danger of it. It would yeah. destroy the economy. It's, it's too efficient. Too efficient. Right. It's too efficient. We've resisted to date. Right. But that's what Obama is trying to do, and that's why we need to get a Republican to replace uh, Gillibrand that's in the right. United States. And that's States. why you need me. Someone <laughs> understands this. Go, 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 go,